Making phone calls is one of the five commandments, and it's in there because I have found that men or women who are sex addicts, or partners of sex addicts, or in recovery in general, who make phone calls every day, they have a touch point, a connection with other people, and it helps them if they're struggling to get through that, but it also it changes them from being so kind of self-centered. You know, so many guys say, well, I didn't make any calls this week because, you know, I was okay. Well, it's not about you. See, when you really get the we in recovery, it becomes about us. And the phone calls you're making are not just about you connecting and checking in about yourself. It's you finding out how another human being is doing, how a guy or a gal in your group is doing in their recovery. How's it going? Can I pray for you? What are you learning? That's awesome. And what happens is all of a sudden there's a synergism that happens in your life because you're learning what they're learning in their recovery without having to go through the effort of learning it. And sometimes they're in a crisis, but what you tell them, you also need it at the same time. So I find people who make phone calls is probably the number one indicator as far as their early recovery, especially the first 90 days. After then, if you want to slack off to two, three, four a week, okay. But the first 90 days, every day, make that phone call. It could change not only your life, it could change the life of the people that are in your recovery group.